you know, I think Sonny's always had a little bit of a, of a craziness issue. Um, I like Sonny. Um, I just think she's crazy. I think she, she's completely off her rockers. Um, I, there are times, you, I'll, I'll give you one little story about Sonny. There was a time that Mark Henry and I had, were sitting at the commentating table during the daytime before the doors open and we had the headsets on and we're just joking around, right? And Sonny had walked up to me and pulled the ear thing off of my head and leaned down and whispered into my ear and said, I'm into bondage. And I jumped up, threw my headset off, and I went, whoa, that's way more than I needed to know. And Mark Henry's sitting beside me going, what'd she say, what'd she say? And uh, so that was, uh, <laughs> that was a little bit of a kicker with, uh, with Sonny. Um, but it, she was crazy. I mean, she was, one of those, she was one of those that pushes the envelope all the time. And she did it in WWE programming, push the envelope. And she also pushed the envelope a little too far in her real life as well. Uh, she's obviously paying a, a pretty hard price right now uh, for some of those decisions. Uh, I, she's got to get better at making better decisions. Otherwise, as far as I'm concerned, she's got a foot in the grave. And of course, we all know where that leads. And I have to ask you because of your character if you've watched her porn video. No, no, I have not watched Sonny's porn video. Um, I, I don't know if I can bring myself to do it. When we were together as a team and with Chris, she could be a pretty nasty person. Just not a nice person. Um, I don't wish bad or harm or negativity towards anybody whatsoever. But you got to believe sometimes karma does bite you in the ass. Um, I don't... I don't like what's happened to Sonny. I don't think anybody should have to go through that. But if you've been to rehab more than five times, there is a little part in there where they talk about those poor unfortunate souls who just can't be saved. There is a part in there, man. Because I know I've been three. I get it. I understand. Sonny has to help Sonny. If it's got to be under supervision, she needs supervision, man. She needs help. She needs to go to meetings. She needs people around her. She needs a sponsor. She needs support. But you got to want it. And you have to want to do it, man. Uh, I feel bad for her, but at the same time, you get what you sow sometimes, man. And, and that's such a bad thing. I, I don't wish her any harm, but you know what, man? She wasn't a very nice lady. I feel bad for Chris. Um... Chris was one of the nicest human beings in the world. Um, he helped me so much. And she, from day one, she was always very abusive. Mm. Uh, really, really hurtful. And I saw that. And, and even she'd slept at my mom and dad's home. I slept at her mom's home. And we'd all been friends. And I'd hate to say this, but she was very promiscuous. And... I remember one day we all traveled together for a, a WWF show. This is before I went to ECW. And we were staying at Tammy's mom's home in New Jersey. And we were still all in our wrestling gear. We were just, we got out of there, figure, you know, we'll just shower at the house. And Chris was the first one in the shower. And I was gonna sleep on the floor in the spare room. And Tammy had her robe on and she literally pulled her robe off naked and said he's in the shower why don't you take me right here right now he'll never know and out of pure embarrassment i just kind of like i joked it off i laughed it off i'm like oh get the f out of here and i you know just like kind of like tried to laugh it off but i'm thinking to myself she was dead serious mm -hmm. and i'm thinking to myself I'm in your, your man's house and to disrespect him like that. I mean, that's, that's just some, that's, I, I'm not, I'm a lot of things, but I'm not that. I, that's, that's just disgusting. And I, I just think she had, uh, she had a lot of problems, you know, and back then she wasn't even drunk or using drugs. She was just, she just needed anything for attention. She wanted that. She lived for that attention. She wanted to be desired. 
and to me it was just like ugh, you know it's like i don't you know she was cute then but it's like you know what <laughs> sorry you know friends don't do that to friends I, I you know especially in someone else's home your home you know chris's home that's disgusting and that's when i knew that she wasn't just not a good person because you just don't do that you so just she, you don't she recently got arrested for, again. Uh, yeah. yeah again for some repeated offenses do you yeah. have any thought about sunny and her arrest <sighs> she's 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 in a lot of trouble she's she really um uh, she's narcissistic she really um you know she, she she just doesn't want to stop doing what she's doing she's headed down a path of destruction and i honestly believe that one day sooner than later and i hope i'm wrong i really hope i'm wrong because i wish nobody nobody uh any harm but uh she's going to be one of the headlines you know because i think she's in jail right now if i'm not mistaken right. i think she's going to do some time and uh it's just a shame because at one point i mean she's a hall of famer at one point she could have turned her whole life around if she would have just sought out help and really admitted you need help look i mean we all need help i've needed help several times i still need help sometimes you know and uh it, it's just a shame it, it breaks my heart but i guess that's who she always was you know who she always was it was reported that the click tormented candido behind the scenes mm -hmm. uh, and that could have led for him asking his release sure did you guys have uh, any heat steaming from that from the click being tormented uh, candido not really um i always tried to stay my own way um you know but he did it to himself unfortunately i mean it was you know sean was was having sex with sunny right in front of his eyes uh you know and i hate talking about chris like that especially when he's not with us but uh he knew he was just so uh in love with her that he didn't want to lose her so I, I honestly in a way i blame him because i would not have taken that for one moment and i don't think a lot of men or women in this world would have I think he was just as much lost as she was, but uh, no, uh, I didn't have any heat with that. I just, uh, you know, it's like, what are you gonna do? He was just, uh, he, he was just a lost soul. Wow, I plead the fifth on this one. Uh, yeah, you know, Tammy was, uh, Tammy was known. I've heard multiple, multiple stories of, of, uh, of that kind of stuff going on. I do also know that Chris was head over heels in love with her. You know, it, it, even when he knew that kind of stuff, like the stuff with Shawn Michaels at WWF, I was there that night, and and it did happen. Uh, you know, and you know, to me, I'd be saying kick your ass to the curb. Uh, but you know, Chris really did love her, and it, it, there was an odd relationship between them because I think most people put in that situation, having that kind of stuff done to them, would say fuck this, I'm out of here. But the two of them were, I think, well, first of all, they were codependent. Uh, and that's always a bad thing. But they had both come up in the business and cut their teeth pretty much in the same places and had known each other for quite a long time before that. So, yeah, the, the, it doesn't surprise me what PJ, you know, if PJ said that happened, it wouldn't shock me. I would never call PJ a liar if that's what he says. I believe it. Uh, I, in hindsight, I just, you know, I, I feel bad for Chris that Chris didn't have. I think it goes back to, like I said earlier about Chris, not having the, the self-confidence in himself to be that stone cold heel or, or you know, heroic baby face because he was capable of both. I just don't think Chris had a lot of self-confidence in general. And, and I think with Tammy, he felt very comfortable with that and so accepted a lot of it. What was the worst example of what you saw the click do to him? Because I know that they really tore him. Jim Ross has even said it on his podcast. He considers that they actually tormented Chris Kennedy. Uh, the, the worst I can think of is, is the thing with Sean. You know, is, uh, look, to me, you know, especially then, the business has changed to some degree, I guess. But back then, wrestlers were a spoiled lot. You know, we'd go into, uh, you know, we're making all this money, and you go into a store and people would be giving you, you know, free $200 tennis shoes and stuff. Uh, uh, you know, free upgrades, you know, you go to a restaurant, they wouldn't let you pay because, you know, 
uh, you know, you're, you, they want you to come back to the restaurant, things like that. Um, so wrestlers were used to getting, you're, me included, used to getting away with things. You, know, you could, you know, if you got in trouble, uh, you know, if, uh, say, you know, with the law, like I remember one time there was a fight outside the ECW arena and, and the cops came and not one wrestler was questioned. It was all the people from the bar next door that got arrested. Um, you know, so wrestlers are used to getting away with stuff like that. And I think like in, because of that, it's easy to lose sight of like the, the real world that most people inhabit. But to me, there's a fine line. Screwing with somebody's wife or very close girlfriend or even if she wants to, that, that's, not the, that's not the litmus test. The litmus test is you would never in a million years have to worry about if you and I were on the road together doing something like that. Uh, and I would hope the same thing vice versa. Uh, so I think there are some things that I don't care, you know, what your position is in the company, what stroke you have with the boss. There's things that you do and there's things that you don't do. And that was just a goddamn asshole move. I don't know how she treated Chris. And the reason I don't know how they, she treated Chris is because I'm not Chris. I can tell you that I saw things, I saw things between the both of them. I saw both their behaviors, and who's it for me to judge? Do you know what I mean? I, you know, Tammy's one of been, been one of my dear friends for years because of Chris, you know. But the two, of them, I met the two of them together, and I always knew them together, and I always saw all of the shenanigans with them. He, he never got rid of her. You know, they never broke up. So whatever it was between the two of them, apparently it worked. For And I'm not, I don't know if it was good. I don't know if it was bad. I don't, it, I didn't have to wake up with it and I didn't have to go to bed with it. So it wasn't for me to judge. Because if it didn't affect my life, then why do I care? I care for Chris. But there, and I used to get upset, but there was at one point where I finally realized, well, if Chris isn't getting upset, why am I? I, I don't understand. You know, it, it, this, this, is, this is not going to impact my life. I'm not dating her. I'm not living with her. I'm not sleeping with her. So why do I care? You know, and I don't know what he may be doing on the other side. Because you got to remember, there's always three sides of the story. His, hers, and the truth. So... Have you watched her uh, porn? No. Yeah. No. I have no interest. I think it was a very, very delicate situation because Sonny had issues too. And everybody knew it. And Hawk and I, besides Paul Ellering, we didn't need no other manager. And especially, nobody's going to believe that a girl is going to be able to control the Road Warriors or Legion of Doom at the time, right? And Sunny in Madison Square Garden one night, the first night she was with us, was walking around all soaming up, which is a muscle or an extra pill. And I told her, I said, do not get in the way of my spikes. You know, because we flip around the ring so far. And my big spikes came with a hairline scratch on the cheek. I came back after the match and Mr. Man says, she messed up. And I nodded yes. I'm not going to lie, man. You can see it on tape. Everybody in the sold out 22,000 seat arena can see it. And right, he boom. Was, she was gone. What do you think that she's uh, now gotten to the point where she's done porn videos and stuff like that? You know, well, she was with Chris Candido, right? Yeah. She was really, uh, back then, a, a sweet girl with Chris. When I first met her, she was sweet. I hate to see anybody that would have to turn to that to make money, right? I actually feel sorry for her, because it's a really embarrassing crap. I mean, let's face it, really embarrassing stuff. Um, I, I don't know what I would do if I ever had anybody I really knew close to my family that would ever have to stoop to that, man. I would try to do my best that they wouldn't have to. And she's at a point in her life now, I think she's in jail.
Speaking of Sonny, uh, is there anyone at the WWE that you didn't have sex with around that time? Me. <laughs> Me. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. And, and for you fans out there, if you're considering uh, buying into the I'll watch Missy Hyatt and her do stuff on film, what the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> like, uh, Abdullah, I guess, sold his ring. Yeah, a few people. So I think Tammy sold hers or put it up for sale. Oh, yeah, or I forgot something. to ask you about yeah. her. What do you think of her? And you know, I, I, when her and I hung out together, she's one of the most funniest people in the whole wide world. I think she's, she's a hoot. She's really, really funny. And we haven't really spoken or anything in years now. In years. What was Sunny like to work with? Sonny was okay to work with, but there was a big, big Sonny Sable rivalry. A big, big rivalry. There, there were there were a lot of words. Yeah. I mean, words were exchanged. I mean, I never saw anything physical, um, but um, you know, I mean, words were exchanged all the time. But um, I, like I said, it, it it almost became the norm, you know. But I never saw anything that I thought was gonna go to blows or anything like that. And it and and in my opinion because she'll probably tell you differently. Um, I thought it really affected Sonny. Um, I, th I, I felt Sonny was very jealous of Sable. Uh, Z Sable, you know, rose through the ranks very, very, very quickly. Um, and I think there was some jealousy there. And I think the jealousy at times made it difficult for me to work with Sonny. And Sable was with Mark Merrill at the time? Yes. Was she still with Mark Mero when she started going out with Brock Lesnar, do you know? I think she was, yeah. And at one point, I read that you were managed by Sonny. Yes. When was that? That was the AWE show in West Virginia. And uh, what are your thoughts on her and what, what was that like? A lot of the guys were like, yo, she wants to fuck you, you know? Like, and I was like, okay, so I'm not going to put her over whatsoever. I didn't. And I guess she really wanted to fuck me even more then. You never joined the, her list of Yeah, yeah, yeah. Conquests. Well, I, I, guess, I guess I did. Oh, you did join her list yeah, of conquests eventually? Yeah, yeah, I did, I did. She offered like two sandwiches too, so like I couldn't like refuse that. And like I wanted to get the fuck out, you know, like I was tired of like the old legends just like talking wrestling and looking at me weird and so like let's just get the fuck out. And she had a mark there for him that was like paying all her stuff, I guess. And she told him to go buy sandwiches and I fucked her and got the fuck out. And I left. The boys came and picked me up and I left. In her hotel room? Yeah. Uh... I was so scared, like, I, I thought I had like chlamydia or like weird shit. I thought, like, I was scared to look at her pussy, you know, like, because I was like, oh, maybe it's like <coughs> all retarded, you know, like, yeah, but she smelled really good. She was really nice. And, um, I never had any STDs, so can't complain. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.